you see my computer died ouch <laughs> I think I'm going to have to be, oh my goodness, two videos because of the beginning of this video was just recorded and now we are having the second part. Well, anyways, let's go on. Well, as I was mentioning, I was sharing a screen previously this happened that my power okay let me see mm -hmm. so we're going to review the competences learned in this unit talk about the structures of a company and how various departments relate to each other so this is the objective for today's class. I hope everybody's ready. Everybody has the manual. I was talking about the manual, I remember. Yes, I was saying that the manual sh should be printed so that you can have this available, okay? For the exercises, as well as you complete them. Let me see. all right no no not yet ricardo don't worry no attendance yet okay so yes mm -hmm. yeah we're going to be describing what we have done in previous classes all right let's have the attendance in the meantime yeah, there were some days. Oh, yes. Let's see. Ana Cristina. Brian. Present. <laughs> David Miguel Angel. David, David. No. Deborah? Present. Hi. Doris? No. Elvin Gabriel? I think Elvin is sick. Gracias, Marisol. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hector Manuel is sick or in a meeting. I don't remember the reason he said. Imelda? Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Ivan? Good evening, teacher here. Good evening. Joe, Ana de la Paz? Joana, Joana, no? Okay, Jocelyn Karina. Present. Hi. Karen Melissa. Hello, present. Hi. Kevin Edgardo. No. Edgardo is not here. Let's see, Laura Berenice. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Maria Irma. Present teacher. Good evening. Miguel Angel. No. Nelson. Present teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Paula Natalia. Present teacher. Good evening. Then we have Ricardo. Present teacher, present. 
Okay, Wendy, Geraldina. Present teacher. Good, and Wilmer. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Okay, as I was mentioning, today's class is basically el repaso de la semana, right? So that's why we're going to be giving some review. We're going to be double checking some of the structures that we have studied along the week. So the instructions is to talk about the previous class, to so describe what we have done so far. And of course, we have some exercises, okay? So the passive voice, but before anything else, I just wanna show, give me one second, from the manual. The manual just to refresh what topics we have studied, right? So the first thing we studied, of course, in terms of communication, it's writing an effective mission and vision of the companies, like the missions and visions, okay? So the mission is what the company does and the vision what the company wants to become, right? In, a, in the future, obviously. And then we use infinitives to describe the mission and the vision of the company. So we worked on this and then we identified the values of the company and how this um, rule kind of shape the way the employees behave at the workplace, right? So that's the core values. And then after describing the values, we were talking about the different areas, okay? Different areas in a company, different departments and how they relate, okay? So, being responsible for, or being responsible to, being in charge of, right? So we'll talk about this. And using the verb in ING after the preposition for, to, or of, right? And we also saw this, this diagram, okay? The organization chart, right? We also describe those things. Then, the reputation. Yeah. Yesterday, practically, we talked about the reputation of the company, what the company is known for, okay, what the company is recognized for. So we talked about this. We talked about the reputation of the company. And now, okay, we are going to be using the passive voice, right? The passive voice is when the, the attention is focus on the action, not on the subject that does the action, right? Not on the doer of the action, but on the action itself. So this is what we're gonna be doing. And then we're going to definitely make a review, right? Of the vocabulary so that we finish the unit one. Of course, this topic is a little bit challenging. So we're gonna be practicing a little bit more of the passive voice. Give me one second, please. Mm. My neighbor's dog again. So funny. All right. So the passive voice is the explanation as the as I was mentioning. Okay, say algo que no entiendan, díganmelo. Raise your hand. Ya sea virtual o físicamente o también escriban en el chat. Like, I have a question or what is this or what is that, okay? So, contrast symbols, okay, the dialogue, which sentence emphasizes the doer of the action, recognize and rate, which sentence emphasizes the action to be known, to be recognized as, to be rated as. So, la voz pasiva es una voz que se utiliza en inglés para expresar cuando la atención debe enfocarse en la acción, no en quién hace la acción. Esa es la traducción, como la interpretación más aproximada a lo 
a lo que llamamos la voz pasiva. Obviamente en, en español nosotros solo hablamos, no estamos pensando, estoy hablando en voz pasiva, en voz activa, bla, bla, bla. But in, in English is a very important structure, okay? Sí, es una estructura muy importante y muy usada, por cierto. Bye. Aquí van a completar las sentences, okay? Aquí ustedes pueden ponerse creative. No necesariamente tienen que ponerlo como... O, o como que hay una sola fórmula, ¿ok? Aquí ustedes pueden usar su creatividad. Por ejemplo, si yo digo... Ay, déjenme ver. Starbucks. Starbucks is known for... Selling cups with names. Cup of coffee with names that people post on social media to brag of a social status, let's say. <laughs> no, Starbucks is known for selling quality coffee or quality exotic drinks, including coffee. The Starbucks is known for a good service. No sé, eso por eso le digo, puede variar. Entonces, ponerse creativo nada más. Uber is recognized for providing efficient service. Could be. Nike is rated as the most popular athletic shoes brand. So Coca-Cola is recognized for selling millions of miles, I mean, thousands of millions of liters of Coca-Cola around the world. Y estos son los ejemplos parecidos ayer, creo. Entonces no nos vamos a detener mucho. Vaya. Aquí está el truco de la voz pasiva. Es una fórmula súper simple. Déjenme ver, voy a buscar el puntero. Por acá. Vaya. La voz activa cuando el sujeto quien hace la acción es lo más importante. They play football. La voz pasiva, la acción pasa a ser lo más importante. Football is played by them. ¿Ven? Solo se invierte el orden. They play football. ¿Qué es lo que juega? Football. Entonces, football is played by them. Yes? So that's the passive voice. Bye. One more time. Tenemos aquí algunos exercises using the passive voice. Aquí lo único que tienen que reconocer, yo les decía ayer, creo, es que si es singular o si es plural, van a usar is or are. Para su tranquilidad. Para su tranquilidad, aquí el verbo. Wait a second. Ya está en past participle, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo ponemos el verbo en past participle? Pues los verbos regulares pasan, entonces le ponemos ed. Los irregulares cambian como pay, paid. De ahí todos los demás aquí son regular. ¿Yes? Vaya. Entonces lo único que van a identificar es que si es is, are, or am. So the tests by the teacher, water cans by the attendants, the license by the police, the cars, okay? So por ahorita el único reto es identificar el verb to be. Ya le dan el verb in past participle. Así que ya no aquí ves, ya le agregaron ed, carried, checked, prepared, installed este es irregular eso cambia totalmente paid boiled carried and loaded ahí está ¿Ya? entonces les voy a compartir este screenshot lo trabajan con su partner en grupos más pequeños pues lo van diciendo pero vayan diciendo la oración completa yes all right bye Ah, te se los comparto. Give me one second. A ver. I think this is okay.
Vamos a identificar el verbo to be, mi querido. Hola, hola. Hola, ¿Me hola, escuchas? ¿me escuchas? ¿Me escuchas? Sí, yo sí. Ah, va. Es que me acabo de poner unos audífonos, pero no sabía si, si funcionaba. Sí, se ve, se escucha. Ah, ok. Ok, perfecto. Hola, hello. Hola, hola. Ay. Este, sí, sí, que ahorita yo no estoy en mi casa, no estoy fuera, pero que no se puede ayudar, no más me dice. Okay. Vaya, bueno, sí, pues vamos a buscar, vamos a ir complementando las horas. Uh -huh. eh, ¿La llenamos y después vemos o cómo? No sé, no sé. Si las hacemos juntos o, o después las comparamos. Oh, ahí ve tú. La primera es Miss. ¿Y te entiendes? Uh -huh. Ok, eh, sí. La segunda que En la sí. el hotel los recibos ah, los recibos del hotel ajá Are. los recibos ajá, fueron pagados por mi tío o mi tía ¿no? por mi tío sí son pagados por mi tío ah no pero como estamos hablando de recibos tiene que ser ar sí mm -hmm. eh, the eh, building, the building. Ahí sería Isbea. El edificio pintado ¿Y bien? Bien. por el pintor, dice, pintado. El, eh, sí, sería Is. Is, is correcto. Fue pues, pintado por el pintor. Siete, is. Y esta no. otra de Water. Water is. Porque Water. es una sí. cosa. Boiler, no sé qué es. Dice hervido en la estufa por mi hermana. Entonces sería como el agua es hervida, hervida. en la estufa es, por es, mi hermana. Es uh -huh. is. Is, ok. Eh, dice la otra. The machinery. La maquinaria. ¿eh? Por is. los camiones. La maquinaria. Ajá, y... y the boxes are loaded by the workers. La maquinaria fue la que maquinaria es transportada por los tractores. Sí, entonces sería is. 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 Y la otra sería cargado por los trabajadores. La sería are. is. Are. are, porque son boxes, cajas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Sí, ¿Cómo estamos es? hablando de plural. Son ah, como es plural. Ok, ok, ok. Yes, okay. are. Cierto, cierto. Uh -huh. Bueno, ahí ya esas son todas, ¿verdad? Yes. Es todo. Ok, estamos. Las dejo, pues tengo hambre. Bueno, <ríe> coma, aprovecho. Gracias. Aprovecho. Participar by the machine. Oh. Ah. Creo que es entonces es R. Yo pienso porque. Ok. Sí, sí, pues sí, creo que sí. Ok. Eh, la cinco. Eh, R. Box. The boxes are looked by the worker. Okay. Okay, Karen. Hello, Karen. Creo que okay, no ha llegado no, todavía. Todavía no sé si ven. Hello, sí, ya. Oh, okay. <laughs> no podía activar el micrófono. Okay. Okay. Vaya, si gusta, eh, comienza las primeras cinco y de ahí con, con Iván. Ok. Uh, the first one is, uh, the test is prepared by the teacher. Second, water cans are carried by the attendants. Number three, the listen is... Check it by the police. Number four, my cars are repaired by the mechanic. Number five, the programs are installed in my computer. Okay. Ivan, o oh, 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 sigo. Uh... <laughs> Ay, ve, sí. Ajá, porque ya le dijeron ustedes. Ok. Six is the hotel. The hotel bills are paid by my uncle. Seven, the building is painted by the painter. Eight, water is boiled. On the stop by my sister. Nine. The ma matinier, no sé, the matinier mm -hmm. is ca carried by the trucks. And ten, the boxes are loaded by the workers. Machine. Creo que así se pronuncia. Um, teacher, uh, creo que sabe teacher. Ok, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, how do you say uh, machi machinery? Machinery. I don't know. Machinery. Ma yes. Machinery. Machinery. Okay, thank you. No ok, thanks. Ok, um, 
Sí, bueno, entonces eh, volvemos, sí, eh, vamos diciéndola así como hizo Karen, diciéndola eh, completa, quizás del 1 al 10. Eh, ¿Lo diría en mi persona o lo diría Iván? You. Comience, si gusta. Me and you. You. Ok. Uh, the test is repeated by the teacher. Whatever scans are carried by my attender. The, the license is checked by the police. My cards are repeated by the mechanic. The programs are installed in the computer. The hotel bills, bills are paid by my uncle. The building is piled in the painter. Water is voided on the stove by my sister. The mechanic, the mechanic, the machine, machinery, mm -hmm. the machinery is carried by the trucks. The boxes are rolled by the workers. Yes. Okay, um, number one. The test is prepared by the teacher. Number two, uh, where comes are carried by the stands. Number three, uh, the listen. Um, is shaken, shaken by the police. Number four, uh, my car is repaired by the mechanic. Number five, um, the program are installed in my computer. Number six, the hotel bills uh, are paid by my uncle. Number Seven, Miriam, the buildings are painted by the painter. Number eight, uh, where is volley on the stop by my sister? Number um, night, the machinery um, are carried by the truck. Number ten, the boxes are loaded by the worker. Ok, entonces lo digo una vez más yo. Ok. Ok. Perdón, podemos darnos, podemos decir una cada uno para que... Para ir variando. Mm -hmm. Para ir variando. Mm -hmm. Ok, bye. empiezo. Uh, the test is prepared by my teacher. Number two, water cans are carried by the attendant. Number three, the listen is checked by the police. Number four, my cars are repaired by the mechanic. Number five, the programs are installed in my computer. The hotel bills are paid by my uncle. By seven, the building is painted by my by the painter. Number eight, the water is boiled on the stove by my sister. Number nine, the machinery are carried by the truck. Number ten, the boxes are loaded by the workers. Okay. Okay. Permítame un momento.
Okay, the test. Mm -hmm. Number one is the test is prepared by the teacher, right? What are cans? Are. Are, that's right. Carried by the attendants. The license is checked by the police. My cars. Are. Are repaired by the mechanic. Yay. Correct. <laughs> the programs are. are installed in my computer. The hostel bills are. are paid by my uncle. The building is, is. is painted by the painter water. Is, is boiled on the stove by my sister. The machinery Art. is let's consider singular now. So the machinery is carried by the trucks and the boxes are are, are loaded. By the workers. That's right. So no problems, no questions, no issues. Voy a aclarar estas relaciones están en fase, please. Yes. Porque el enfoque es en qué es lo que se hace, no quién lo hace. Por eso el quién lo hace lo dejan al final y por eso lo ponen by por tal persona, por tal. Sí, practically. Por tal institución, por tal grupo de personas, podría ser también. Bye. Déjenme clear all this and let's go to the next one. Este es el ejercicio que da el manual, que ya lo hicimos ayer. Our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Our products are rated as five of the most popular in the United States. Our customer service agents is perceived, our customer service agents are perceived, sorry, as the most efficient in the sector. The brand is seen as the leader in the energy drinks market. The company is known as a major producer of shoes in the region. And our vegetables are rated as the last, as the least, sorry, contaminated of the national market. Okay. Este puzzle. Hmm. Hay que seguir las pistas, dice, para completar el puzzle de los values. De los valores. ¿Y dónde tienen las pistas? Acá tienen las pistas. Down son las que van hacia abajo. Across son las que van de derecha a izquierda. Vale, les voy a dar una. Number one, being faithful to your friends, family, principles, etc. Hacia abajo, ¿cuál sería este valor? Being faithful. To your friends, family, and principles. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya la tienen? Mm, loyalty. Respect. Loyalty. Oh, loyalty. Yes. Y podemos escribir loyalty. Creo que vamos a tener que ir haciendo una por una de las letras porque esta cosa no se puede poner acá. Let's see. Number two. Ouch. <laughs> ya tengo uno. Ya tiene una. Vaya, oh. dígame. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No sé. Responsibility. Responsibility. ¿Cuál es responsibility? 
36. El number six, down or across? Mm. Across. Across. Uh -huh. Responsibility. Uh -huh. Vaya, vale, entonces eso es lo que van a hacer. Le voy a dar tiempo ahorita, trate de hacerlo y luego lo vamos a comparar, ¿ok? Let's do it. Uh -huh. Four minutes. Qué raro que este, este Zoom no tenga cronómetro. Yo queriendo poner aquí la presión. <risa> Vamos a ver. Ajá, aquí hay, hay unas cuentas de Zoom que ya vienen con el cronómetro. Let me see, let me see. No, no por ningún lado el cronómetro. My goodness, I'm sorry.
No, pero mandar otro programa. Ah, vamos a hacer las oraciones. Yo tengo el, el PDF. De ahí lo estoy viendo. Espérame, Ricardo. Entonces te lo, lo voy a enviar a vos. Por... Mándamelo, bien, Directo. Por... Por... Ahí están los. Ahí se los mandé. Vaya, ok, gracias. Gracias. Ah, igual, igual ya los dieron ahí. Vaya. <coughs> El primero que adivinaron. Era loyalty. Loyalty. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos a ver. No necesariamente tiene que ser el mismo número de oración con, con los números que aparecen en el crucigrama, ¿verdad? Sí. Lo que pasa ¿Cómo? es que como ahí dice, la número uno es hacia abajo. La dos, la tres, la cinco y la siete son todas esas hacia abajo. Y la 4, 6, 8, 9 y 10 eh, son así. Eh, horizontales. Horizontales, ajá. Entonces, la, la, hora, la palabra tiene que coincidir con la oración. O sea, no importa que no estén en orden los números, así. Es el número 3. Y eficiencia. Pero no puede ser un esto. Porque si es responsable, va y ahí. Ajá, ajá. Puede ser integrity. Entonces la siete, porque dice. Ajá. Eh, me quiero ver. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Is number mm -hmm. for his leadership. leadership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the dumb number one is loyalty. This is number mm -hmm. four is leadership. And the other number, number six. Number six. The yeah. quality of being dependable. Responsibility. Uh, uh. Responsibility. Teacher, yeah, I have a question. Is correct say... Um, Leadership and loyalty. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, is correct say leadership and loyalty? Leadership. And loyalty, yes. Leadership. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other? Loyalty. Loyalty. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Gracia in number eight, the ability to understand how someone feels because you can imagine what is like to be them is empathy. 
Number eight. Yes. Oh, no. Se ve es puntuality. What? La nueve, number nine, is puntuality. Yes. The quality of pain. Thanks. The quality of being quite um, truthful. Truthful. Yes. Honesty. Confía, confía. Yo, my, la... En la 6 me sale acabar las palabras de, de confiabilidad. Pero es que tiene que ser las que están en el recuadro de abajo. Uh -huh. Valía de ser confiable. Confiabilidad serían 2, 4. Honesty, honesto, honesto, cierto, esa no la tengo yo como honesto en las en esa. Honesto. Porque solo esa hace, solo esa también casa ahí en el 6, con la misma cantidad de letra. Pero no sé con, con qué casa la 6, la con la 5. Tendría que pegar. Tour friend, family, príncipe, um... De um, um, loyal, loyalty. 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 Sí. Number two. The billet. Uh, the sometimes. Yeah. On some show, not beat. Hard trip. Rudel. 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 Respect. Respect, respect. Number three, mm -hmm. doing something well and effectively without was watching time, money, and or energy. It's a 
eficiente? Eficiente. Eficiente. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number five. Mm. No eso. The introduce, the introducing, the introduction of new idea, method, or invention. Number five. Mm -hmm. um, I innovate. Number five. Mm -hmm. Yes, innovation. Okay, okay. For what? Num and down. Number Num seven. Number six. A continuation. Empathy. Empathy. Across. Across. Number. Eh, eh, se había quedado Miguel en la number 5, ¿verdad? El número 5. Yes. Number 5. Number 7. Sí, but number 6. The quality of oh. being disposed. Dispended. Di no sé cómo se pronuncia esta. Quiero ver. Dispended. Dispendable. Dispendable. Dependable. Ah, pues ya tenemos resuelto Volada. hasta las seis faltarían las ocho, nueve y diez ah, la ocho es un
Vale, pero bueno. Estaba uh, revisando y sí, este no queda ningún espacio, si no, no queda ningún espacio, todo está lleno. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Todo coincide. Las revisamos para ver si las tenemos iguales todos, los tres. Sí, yes, yes. Yo tengo en la dos respect. Yes. Yes. En la tres, efficiency. Number three. Repeat. Efficiency. Yes. Number four, lender chip. Yes, okay. Number five, mm -hmm. innovation. Yes. Innovation. Innovation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Innovation. Yes. Number six, responsibility. Responsibility. Number seven. Integrity. Yes. Number eight. Empathy. 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 Number nine, mm -hmm. punctuality. Okay. Honest. Okay. Okay. Sí. Okay. Phoenix. Phoenix. Excellent. Okay. All right, finish. Yes. Great. Well, we're going to be changing from one to another because I just have one of the slides. This is possible. Being faithful to your friends, family, and principal, we already said that is loyalty, right? The belief that something or someone should not be harmed, treated rudely. What did you put in number two? Respect. Respect. All right. Number three, doing something well and effective without wasting time, money, or energy. Mm hmm Number three. Efficiency. Efficiency. The introduction of new idea, methods, or innovation. Innovation. Literature. Innovation. Innovation. And number five. Mm -hmm. Because number new ideas, methods, or inventions. Innovation. Being honest and fair and behaving according to the moral principles that you believe in. Integrity. Integrity, yes. Being good at leading a group, organization, or country. Leadership. 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 
The quality of being dependable. Responsibility. Responsibility. The ability to understand how someone feels because you can imagine what it is like to be them. Empathy. 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 Arriving or being done at exactly the time that has been arranged. Punctuality. Punctuality. The quality of being fair and trustful. Honesty. Honesty. Yes, it's correct. Correct, totally correct. Mm. Wait a second, just don't know what happened here. One minute, oh yes, right here. Okay, we're going to just work on these other exercises that we are still pending from the manual. But I'm gonna share the screen right from here, from the manual for a better understanding with the infinitive. Exercise two from, as I was telling you, we are having the vocabulary practice, which is the review of the, the whole unit. And I want you to practice. Okay, we just did this with the infinitive. Four mistakes related to the infinitive. Este ejercicio bien parecido al que hicimos justamente al inicio de esta unidad donde estaban los errores de los infinitivos. Okay, so tienen que identificar four mistakes related to infinitive. Recuérdense que un infinitivo es nada más que el verbo, pero con la partícula to. Okay, so... Oh, let me see. Si hay cinco oraciones, significa que una sí está correcta. Y ahí hay cuatro errores. Okay, vale, traten de analizarlo y luego lo vamos a comparar. Give me one second.
Okay, let's see the mistakes that you identify. In the number one, the company's mission is to distributing top quality office supplies. ¿Hay algún error ahí? Uh -huh. Any mistake in the first one? Yes or no? The verb. The verb. Okay. It shouldn't be distributing. It should be distribute. Okay, so the variety of distribute to distribute top quality of the supply. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah, the company's mission is to distribute. Yeah, to distribute es el infinitivo, pero ya tenemos el tú acá, entonces solo debería de quitarle el ing, to distribute, right? All the right. second, mm -hmm. I think that it's, it's not it, it's it's. Our vision. Our vision, it's to become. It is to become the leaders in the telecommunication sector. Yes, aquí falta el is. If you ask me, yes. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, should be is. Okay, it is to become the leader, the leaders in the telecommunication sector. We exist for to provide. ¿Cuál es el error ahí? What's the mistake? Mm -hmm. Por tú no debe ser. No necesito este por. Solo we exist to provide integrated logistic service. Sí, ya. Yeah. Okay. Our goal is to be. Exacto. Aquí falta el tú. Mm -hmm. To be recognized. To be recognized as the number one dairy producer. Rex inventions. Oh, sorry, Rex inventions to They're becoming. They're become. To become. Exactly. Este ING no debería estar. Solo debería ser to become. In visions, to become. In infinity. Igual, el tú ya está, por eso no lo vuelvo a escribir. Pero in Rex, in visions, to become the number one manufacturer of clothes for kids. Okay. Correct. Borramos todo. Clear all drawings. Fine. Vale. ¿De qué están a cargo ustedes en su trabajo? De muchas cosas. Van a re elegir de estas 
expressions being charged of, be committed to, be, ded be dedicated to, be responsible for, be accountable for. Vamos a elegir one, two, three, four. Three de estas, five. Y va, obviamente el be, ustedes lo tienen que conjugar, es decir, for example, I am. En este caso estamos hablando de ustedes mismos, de lo que están a cargo. So, I am in charge of, sorry, I am, que okay, el B se convierte en am porque se conjuga. I am in charge of, el verbo que siga tiene que ir en ing. Okay. Vamos a escuchar a, veamos, ¿quién? a Débora. ¿De qué está a cargo usted en su company? What are you in charge of? Dígame una de tantas responsabilidades que seguramente debe tener. Deborah? I'm eh, um, in charge of calling the customers that forgot pay their, their credit cards. <laughs> Okay, I'm in charge of calling the customers who forget to pay their credit card. Just like me. <laughs> I forget to pay my credit card. Bye. Entonces, si se fijan, Deborah, I'm in charge of. Como ya tenemos el of, que es una preposition. Eh, la acción que continúa la pongo en ING. Aquí es diferente al infinitivo porque el infinitivo lo usábamos nada más para decir un propósito, como la misión y la visión de una empresa. El ser, el volverse, el convertirse en, el llegar a, ¿qué? Okay? Pero este, yo estoy a cargo de hacer esto. Yeah. I'm in charge of calling the customers who forget to pay their credit card. Vaya, les doy un ejemplo como in charge of. I'm committed to, I'm dedicated to, escriban tres, reflejando sus funciones o sus responsibilities en la company. Las pueden escribir igual en el chat para que todos sepamos. O también las pueden escribir en su manual y después contarlos. Okay. Teacher, only three sentences. Mm -hmm. Yes, only three. So using the expression, I'm in charge of, or I'm committed to, or I'm dedicated to, or responsible for. I'm accountable for, también, pero no es tan común.
All right, let's start reading from Garcia. I'm in charge of providing technical assistance to producers. Remember, after all, providing in ING. I'm in charge of visiting the crops. I'm in charge of producing beans and corn. Laura, I'm in charge of solving accounting problems. I'm in charge of checking my email every day. I'm in charge of preparing financial statements. Brian, I'm in charge of solving guarantees. I'm in charge of ensembling PCs. I'm in charge of preparing products. Okay. Está muy bien, solamente que me están usando solo I'm in charge of. Pueden usar las otras expresiones. I'm committed to. I'm dedicated to, right? Uh, Miguel, I'm in charge of preparing computer for new personal. I'm dedicated to solving different problems for projects. I'm responsible for shopping for computers as spare parts, okay? Uh, Ivan, I'm responsible for, I'm responsible for checking the servers in the bank. I'm in charge of accounting, uh, uh, updating the servers. I'm committed to sending reports every Friday of the status of the servers. Karen, I'm dedicated to conducting marketing research. I'm responsible for responding messages. I'm committed to providing good image of the company. Great. Okay. Very good. Done. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And I was close mass. Wait, let me see. Deborah, I'm responsible for. Posting alternative of payment to the customers. I'm in charge of receiving calls from the customers who need help. I'm dedicated to creating or doing reminders of payment. Ricardo, I'm responsible for transferring and controlling funds to all accounts. I'm in charge of preparing checks to pay bills and I'm dedicated full time to paying suppliers. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, complete the statements with the appropriate one more. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Complete the statement with the appropriate word personal or personal. Aquí les hacen un diagram. Aquí se tiene algo personal. El personal del trabajo, personal de la oficina. Okay, this is his staff. Which word means belonging to a particular person? Which word means people who work for a company? Analyzing yes, please. Natalia, I'm in charge of managing the company's personal. I'm committed. El no lo necesita. I'm committed to the operation of the company and I'm in charge of producing control and inventory of creating or establishing, supervising, checking, setting. Dun, 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 dun. All right, bye. A ver, hagan el análisis del exercise four. You have three more minutes. Vaya, voy a dar un espacio para que trabajen con sus compañeros en, en small groups 
Aparte de comparar este exercise, también pueden comparar tu trabajo en, eh, en la plataforma. Si hay alguna duda con algún ejercicio, pues también es el momento para que compartan y pueden también compartir pantalla y decir si tienen alguna dificultad, los compañeros les pueden apoyar, pues. Welcome. Ay, un segundito. Vamos a rehacer los rooms. And everybody can participate. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hi. Sorry. I may go to the bathroom. Okay. okay. Continue. Is on the Personal or personal? Personal or personal? Who mm -hmm. is complete? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? Vamos a completar. Me... No sé si había lo que mandó la mis. Sí, sí, tengo el, el, el eso. Es que me levanté ah, con el último un momento. Eh, Las preguntas son cinco. Vamos a a clasificarlas si va con entendiéndose creo yo como personal algo personal y personal de, de empleado no sé si me comprenden personal de empleado y, y personal, personal de... de de algo personal de algo personal uh -huh. Porque dije, ¿qué palabra significa pertenecer? pertenecer a una persona? Dije en particular, la primera pregunta no tiene lógica esa pregunta. Pero... Y la segunda dije, ¿qué palabra significa personas que trabajan en una empresa? Entonces eso es algo ya de trabajo. Uh -huh. Teacher, aquí está el teacher creo, ¿verdad? Sí. Así es, ¿verdad, teacher? Personal, entendiéndose como un, un conjunto de empleados. Personal, sí, con I. Y el Ajá. otro personal es como, digamos... De persona, algo personal. Algo personal. Cuando le dicen, no se lo tome personal. Ajá, ok. Ah, pues si no andaba uh -huh. tan personal. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. No problem.
Quiere decir, quiere decir que la primera sería aquí. Who is responsible for the personnel at the plane? The plane. Así como hablando de personal, de personnel. Como hablando de una empresa, siento yo. Entonces yo puse personnel. Porque hablé de la empresa. Tienes razón. Personnel. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Tienes razón. Personnel. The number four. Please do not bring your personal problems to the office. Ahí se habla de personal. Personal, ajá. De la persona, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. exacto. Okay. In number five, personnel. Porque está hablando de los uniformes. New uniform. Uh Creo que así quedan, ¿verdad? La primera es personal, la segunda es personal, la tercera personal, la y la cuarta personal y la cinco personal. Sí, si quieren repetimos la, como las opciones. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya, empiezo, si gusta. No puedes repetir todas y después cada una las repite todas para practicar. Vaya. Ok, number one. Who is responsible for the personnel at the plan? Two, does the marketing manager have a personal assistant? Assistant? Three, is necessary to train more personnel for the high season? Four, please do not bring your personal problem to the office. By the personnel of the workshop with new uniform. Okay. okay. Voy yo. Number one, who is responsible for the personnel at the plant? Does the number two, does the marketing manager have a personal assistant? Number three, it's necessary to train more, more personal for the high season. Number four, please do not bring your personal problems to the office. And number five, the personal of the workshop need new uniforms. Voy yo. Who is responsible for the personnel at the plant? Does the marketing manager have a personal assistance? It's necessary to train more personnel for the high season. Please do not bring your personal problems to the office if the personnel of workshop need new uniforms. Lo hacemos otra vez. Pues no hay tiempo. Eh, sí. Uh -huh. Para irlo como mezclando, podemos ir diciendo como una, cada no, una. una. Ajá. Ajá, para, para hacerlo variado. Ok. Ok. Um, empiezo. Who is responsible for the personnel at the plant? 
Number two, does the marketing manager have a, a personal assistant? Voy yo, yeah. mm -hmm. It's necessary to train more personnel for the high season. Okay. Number four, please do not bring your personal problems of the office. Okay, number five, the personnel of the workshop need new uniform. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay. Ya, todo el mundo regresó. Everybody returned. Everybody came back. Okay, listen. Espero que hayan podido compartir también sus difficulties en la plataforma, que hayan podido aclarar. Y pues vamos a pasar el attendance. Mañana paso notas de la unidad 1, así que debe estar completo. <ríe> ok. Si no, les va a tocar no sleeping tonight. Bueno, si lo han hecho durante la semana, no, no problem. Veamos, Ana Cristina no se ha conectado Ana Cristina, ¿verdad? No la he visto en un rato. Mm, no. Oh, yes. Sí veo su nombre por ahí. I'm sorry. Brian. Still there. David Miguel. Yo. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Débora. Stories. Good night, present. Good night. <laughs> Doris. Elvin. Elvin creo que está enfermo. Gracias. Héctor. Present. Bye. Good evening. Bye. No, good night. Good night. <laughs> eh, Imelda. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Ivan. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nelson. Present. Good night. Good night. Paula. Present. Good night. Good night. Ricardo. Present. Good night. Good night. Good night. Wendy. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wilmer. Good night. Present teacher. Good night. All right, see you Monday. Do the platform, complete the exercises. Okay. See you.